Illustrative exercise number two focuses on calculating and distributing the offsetting requirements in Corsia. Offsetting requirements are determined by calculating the following values. The baseline CO2 emissions for different years, the sector growth factor for different years, the CO2 emissions and offsetting requirements for an aircraft operator, as well as examples for offsetting costs. Just as in the first exercise, there are only 10 states in the Corsia world, states A to J. The combination of international routes and routes which are covered by Corsia or not, along with the levels of CO2 emissions on each route for the respective years. These can be found in Assumption Table 4 of the exercise. Remember, a state's participation in the pilot phase and in the first phase of Corsia is voluntary and Corsia applies to international routes between states, both of which are participating in Corsia as per Assembly Resolution A393, paragraphs 9 and 10. Based on the information in Assumption Table 4 of the exercise, the first task is to calculate the following four values. The average of the total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020 for the year 2021, the sectoral growth factor for the year 2021, the average of the total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020 for the year 2024, and the sectoral growth factor for the year 2024. The average of total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020 for the year 2021, also known as the sectoral baseline for 2021, is calculated by summing the emissions in 2019. See the column labeled CO2 2019 and the emissions in 2020. See the column labeled CO2 2020. However, we are only summing the values for those routes that are covered under Corsi in the year 2021 or for the first year in the pilot phase, which is noted in green. This may sound confusing at first, but let's go through it one step at a time, as this is an important foundation to understanding the sectoral baseline. Emissions data for all international flights, regardless of being covered or not by Corsia, will be recorded and provided to ICAO for the years 2019 and 2020. However, only the routes between those states will have volunteered to participate in Corsia in the pilot phase in the year 2021 will have their data used in the sectoral baseline calculation for 2021. The baseline emissions for years 2019 and 2020 depend on the routes covered by Corsia in the given year, and that the baseline will change when the number of states participating in Corsia changes. In this scenario, six routes are covered in our Corsia world in 2021. Therefore, the total CO2 emissions for those routes are summed for 2019 and separately for 2020, which are 316 and 334 respectively. These values are then added together and divided by 2 to calculate the average total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia for the year 2021 or the 2021 sectoral baseline, which is 325. It should be noted that the values are an illustrative example only. Using the average of total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020, which is what we just calculated in the first step, we can now calculate the sectoral growth factor for year 2021. As per Resolution A393, paragraph 11, the sectoral growth factor in a given year is equal to the total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia in a given year, represented by the letter A. Then, subtracting the average of the total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020, also known as the sectoral baseline, represented by the letter B, and that the remainder, A minus B, is divided by total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia in a given year, or letter A. This value is then multiplied by 100 to denote a percentage. In this illustrative example, the sectoral growth rate for 2021 is 346 minus 325 divided by 346, which is 0.061 or 6.1%. 6 
On a side note, for the pilot phase in the years 2021 through 2023, there are two options for the use of an operator's emissions to calculate its offsetting requirements. For the pilot phase, the amount of offsetting requirements by an aircraft operator is calculated by multiplying the sectoral growth factor in a given year by the operator's CO2 emissions covered by Corsia either in a given year or in 2020. For the first phase, in the years 2024 through 2026, the amount of offsetting requirements of an aircraft operator is calculated by multiplying the sectoral growth factor in a given year by the operator's CO2 emissions covered by Corsia in a given year. For the average of total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia between 2019 and 2020 for the year 2024, or the sectoral baseline for 2024, we follow the same steps as we did to calculate the sectoral baseline for 2021. However, this time we are summing the values for those routes that are covered under Corsi in the year 2024 or the first year in the first phase, which are noted in green in the right side columns. Remember, only the routes between those states who have volunteered to participate in Corsi in the first phase in the year 2024 will have their data used in the sectoral baseline calculation for 2024. As noted earlier, the baseline emissions for the years 2019 and 2020 depend on the routes covered by Corsia in the given year, and that the baseline will change when the number of states participating in Corsia changes. In this scenario, five additional routes have been added since 2021 for a total of 11 routes that are covered in our Corsia world in 2024. Therefore, the new total CO2 emissions for covered routes are summed for 2019 and separately for 2020, which are 488 and 519 respectively. As before, these values are then added together and divided by two to calculate the average total CO2 emissions covered by Corsia for the year 2024 or the 2024 sectoral baseline, which is 503.5. Using the 2024 sectoral baseline and the same formula as before, we can now calculate the sectoral growth factor for the year 2024, which is 21.1%. It is interesting to note that the sectoral growth factor for the year 2024 is affected not only by changes to CO2 emissions values per year, but is also affected by changes to the number of states who additionally volunteer to participate in a given year, and the related changes to the additional routes covered by Corsia. Based on the results of the first part of this illustrative exercise and the information on routes of aircraft operator A1 in Assumption Table 2, which can be found in the first illustrative exercise, you are asked to calculate three values. First, the emissions covered by Corsia in 2024 by the aircraft operator A1. Second, the amount of offsetting requirements in 2024 by the aircraft operator A1. And third, the total offsetting cost if the emissions unit cost for the offsetting requirement is $5. Remember, only the CO2 emissions from routes covered by Corsia are being taken into account when calculating the offsetting requirements for an aircraft operator. The CO2 emissions covered by Corsi in 2024 by the aircraft operator A1 is 120 tons of CO2, or 60 tons plus 60 tons. This is because the aircraft operator A1 operates routes AB, AC, and AD. However, the route AB is not covered by Corsi. The amount of offsetting requirements in 2024 by the aircraft operator A1 is 25.3 offsets. This is calculated by multiplying 120 tons, which is the CO2 emissions coverage by Corsia in 2024 by the aircraft operator A1, by 21.1%, or the sectoral growth factor for the year 2024 calculated in the first part of this exercise. The cost for the offsetting requirements for aircraft operator A1 in 2024 is $126.50, which is calculated by multiplying the number of offsets required, or 
by the $5 emissions unit cost assumed in this illustrative example.